Hey everyone, my name is Corey, and today we're going to be looking at another package within the Google Nick collection. Today we're going to be looking at the, oh, uh, it's called Vivier, Vivesa, Vivesa 2. And essentially what this is for is basically just a little bit of color manipulation and um, just overall composition of your photo. So what I've done is standard. I've gone ahead and made a copy of our background, this nice picture of a lake, which actually turned out to be pretty good. So we're going to go over to Filter, Nick Collection, click on Vivesa 2. It's going to open our dialog box, standard dialog box. This time we do not have the loop and um, histogram. We have a navigator which uh, actually moves around the image so you can look at different points. But this is a very simple tool. It makes everything so much easier when you use this. What's really cool is you can actually add control points to this. So we'll go ahead and look at that first. So if you click control point and basically select an area. Now what this is, is this is a, uh, a set area of where you can add specific um, settings to your um, area. So here the first console control is to control the actual area. So what, what we're doing is we're selecting an area that we want to apply these effects to and basically what it's going to do is feather everything else out. So if we just say look we want to make the brightness down a little bit or turn the brightness up a little bit you can see that generally around the circle it will have the effects and it will eventually feather out. So that's a really cool um, tool and it's super easy to use. If you have multiple points you can group them and uh, you can do stuff like that. But we're not actually going to do that. In this image I really want to take a look at um, just bumping up the color spectrum a little bit more. Especially you see in the sky the blue is kind of pale. It's not looking as vibrant as it could. So that's what we're going to do over here. So uh, let's go ahead and, and so if we manipulate the global settings obviously it's going to apply to the entire image so some things we can do I think I want to turn down the brightness just a little bit maybe bump up the contrast a tad because again the overall goal is to improve the color saturation a little bit and obviously that's done by selecting the saturation and increasing it and you can see already that the blues are being uh, improved. So if we go ahead and do 100% we'll see all the colors are drastically improved but that's a little bit too much so honestly what I'm going to do is I feel like I should go around 66 maybe 70 because when we when we get above that we start getting a little bit uh, things look a little bit fake and washed out uh, color and the structure uh, we're going to actually turn the structure up just a little bit um, it increases, it helps with the shadows just a little bit. So again, that's super easy to use. This is really just play around with these sliders until you get the things that you want. Honestly, what I would do maybe up here is I would make a, um, a control point and actually decrease the brightness just a tad, just because this is a little bit too um, bright and maybe bump up the contrast just a little bit. Uh, that doesn't look too good. Um, so let's see what we got going on. Increase the saturation a little bit. Improve uh, structure. Um, no, let's go with that. Maybe decrease the control point a little bit. Okay, so we have something like that. That looks okay. Maybe with a little bit more um, messing around or playing around we could improve stuff so let's decrease the overall saturation just a little bit and the structure as well okay so the other thing you'll notice down here is we have the levels and curves and if you know anything about um, basic photo editing you'll know that you have the input and you have the output and you have your different um, channels you can play with so if you want to specifically mess with the reds you can decrease the reds, you can increase the reds, you can do stuff like that. So like I mentioned earlier, I want to actually get the blues to pop a little bit. So if we go over to specifically to the blue channel, we do have a histogram. Um, 
And so the histogram will show the distribution of blue within the image. So if you look here, we have a kind of a high concentration of kind of brighter blues, and we have a higher concentration of darker blues, and not much in the mid. So what we can actually do is we can play around with the mid-tone slider, and what this is doing is we're saying we want to have a higher distribution of blue in certain areas of our image. And so another good practice, especially when you're doing, dealing with any kind of histogram, is to actually um, crop the histogram essentially to get rid of colors that you don't need. So for example, if you look here, you can see that there's a pretty straight line, a cutoff where the blue stops. So what I'm going to do is take this adjustment highlights and just move it on over. And you can see already it, everything looks a little bit better. Um, I'm going to move the gamma, which is the middle slider, up a little bit. And especially what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the color in the water. So I don't want something that looks like that that looks clearly fake. I kind of want to know that it's definitely blue water, but not too much. So somewhere around here. And again, what you can do is you can click on the curve. You can add certain control points, and you can um, move those control points up and down to get a more dynamic uh, curve. Okay, and again, if we go to RGB, and again, we cut down the color, we're basically just making everything a little bit more vibrant. Um, again, the clouds don't look as good, and the way I would fix that is I would add some control points. And so control points are basically the equivalent of adding masks without having to add different layer masks. Um, so yeah, a really easy tool to use, and it's really powerful. So if we hit OK, and we look at our before and after, We can see, in my opinion, it's definitely an improvement, especially in, if you look at the water alone, you can see that everything is kind of a little bit more blue tinted, and that was the kind of look I was going for, but you can also see within the greens and the reds, and pretty much all the color is just um, a little bit better. I would probably go back and change the blue tint a little bit. It's a little bit too blue, but overall, um, I, it's definitely an improvement. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, this collection is free. Thank you for watching. This is Ben Corey from the Techies.